don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, ring the bell, and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Also known as Super Fighter 2, and often hailed as a Jackie Ploitation film or Kung Fu Oddity, Fearless Hyena 2 has long been torn to shreds by critics and fans alike for multiple reasons. But recent restorations of this unsung classic have shone a new light on it, urging today's audience to give it another chance and proving itself to be a highly entertaining kung fu comedy overall. In an unrelated story to the first Fearless Hyena, the Heaven and Earth Devils are attempting to wipe out the Qing family and their kung fu style, almost completing their quest until two of the Qing brothers escape with their sons. But after 15 years of hiding, the Heaven and Earth Devils soon catch up with the Qing brothers and their young adult sons, resulting in the deaths of the two elderly fathers and forcing the young cousins into battle for revenge. When the late Willie Chan left the Lo Wei Motion Picture Company to join Golden Harvest, he advised Jackie Chan to decide for himself whether to stay or not. Although he began work on the movie at the end of 1979, Jackie then broke his contract and left to join Golden Harvest, where he would immediately go into directing The Young Master, something of which it is said that he had already been doing double duties on at that time. Lo Wei responded with triad threats that put Jackie in the line of fire, and it's no secret that the dispute was resolved with the help of the late and legendary Jimmy Wang Yu, which allowed Chan to stay with Golden Harvest, albeit with a small debt owed that would later see him appear for Jimmy in films such as Fantasy Mission Force and Island of Fire respectively. Before Chan left the production, Lo Wei had managed to capture just under 30 minutes of footage with the fast rising Kung Fu star, although this would only accumulate to a third of the actual movie overall. In order to complete the film, Lo would rewrite the story to introduce a secondary character, to allow for the focus to shift away from Jackie before the grand finale would bring them both together. But most noticeably, he hired stunt doubles to take Chan's place for the remainder of the movie, combining that with alternative takes and reused footage from the first Fearless Hyena movie, as well as cuts from Spiritual Kung Fu and Dragon Fist. Of course, a similar technique was used in other Jackie Chan films, such as Master with Cracked Fingers, which was recut from Cub Tiger from Kwantung, and also in Fire Dragon, which was recut from Fantasy Mission Force, confusingly. <laughs> when he's not on screen, Jackie is doubled with two stand ins, one that dresses in costume and paints his nose red and the other that wears fake facial hair and proves to be as equally talented a fighter than Chan himself. Starring alongside them is the wonderful Austin Y. Tin Chi, brother to Shaw Brothers Queen Kara Hoi, who had previously starred with Sammo Hung in films like The Shaolin Plot, Iron Fisted Monk, Invincible Kung Fu Master, and Game of Death, as well as classics like The Fatal Flying Guillotines, 36th Chamber of Shaolin, Avenging Eagle, Kung Fu vs Yoga, and Five Super Fighters, among many more. Popular Hong Kong film star Hong Kwok Choi appears once again as the comedy sidekick, oddly going by the name of Frog, the same character name he was known by when he starred in Jackie Chan's Cub Tiger from Kwantung back in 1973. It's also worth noting his appearances in Aces Go Places 1 and 2 from the same period, since its catchy score is used throughout here alongside tunes from Raiders of the Lost Ark and others. Lam Chun Chu, also known as Pearl Lin, stars in her last Hong Kong film role as a kick-ass member of the Beggar Clan, and had previously starred alongside Chan in the fantastic Dragon Fist under Lo Wei's direction. South Korean super kicker Kwon Young Moon, who had starred alongside Austin Wai in the Shaolin plot and Jackie Chan in Master with Cracked Fingers, co-stars as one of the big baddies and killer kung fu fighter. Of course, as this was shot in 1979, he would go on to star with Jackie two more times in both Dragon Lord and in Project A the same year as this was released. Prolific actor and choreographer Peng Gang returns once again, having appeared in Jackie's low way titles such as Snake and Crane Arts of Shaolin, Spiritual Kung Fu, Half a Loaf of Kung Fu, Dragon Fist, and the first Fearless Hyena, 
going on to work with him once again in Dragonlord one last time. In fact, a number of stars from the first film return, including the great James Tian and Chen Hoi Lu, who play the fathers of Jackie and Austin Y, heading up the beggar clan one more time. The hard-hitting and always impressive Yan Shi Quan delivers another great villainous role alongside the aforementioned Quan Yong Moon, and the late Dean Shek returns as the twin brother of his previous character from part one, this time playing a restaurant manager in a 10 minute scene that would go on to be cut from the original French release just like before. Kung Fu movie fans should also keep an eye out for familiar faces, such as the popular Ma Chiang, who previously played Ironhead in Fearless Hyena and stars here as a member of the Beggar Clan, along with stars such as Wang Shi Sheng, Mickey Ng Mai Kui, Wang Chi Wai, Chin Wa Chi, and Clement Jie. The talented Choi Fat, who starred in countless Shaw Brothers titles as well as Jackie's own Dragon Fist and directed the hugely underrated 13 Cold Blooded Eagles, stars as the master of the Fist Keen School while doubling duties as the film's fight choreographer. Here, Choi delivers some incredible pieces of fight action, with previous 2K restorations highlighting his work even better than before. From James Tian's fight on the beach, to fake Jackie's street fight against the Beggar Clan, and the burning house battle, to the cleverly edited grand finale that blends reused shots and alternate takes from Fearless Hyena's last fight, with tightly worked new footage featuring a double and Austin Y in action. And while Jackie gets the chance to genuinely show off his athleticism and fighting talents here and there, it's more than likely that he would have choreographed these fights himself. The film was mostly shot in Taiwan and was nicely captured by UK, the cinematographer behind films such as The 14 Amazons, Bamboo House of Dolls, Dragon on Fire, Zeng Kwon Do Strikes in Paris, and The Man from Holland, among many, many more. It was also brilliantly edited by the talented and prolific Vincent Lung, who was the right man for the job that had an eye for grabbing previous shots of Jackie since he had edited the original Fearless Hyena, as well as most of Jackie's other low-way efforts. Interestingly, in past interviews, Jackie had mentioned that the end product of Fearless Hyena 2 was so bad that he even tried to stop its release by going to court, but Lo Wei eventually managed to release it in 1983 regardless. It was a battle that mirrored that of Chuck Norris himself, who had went through his own legal fight around the same time when Golden Harvest put Yellow Faced Tiger out in the US as Slaughter in San Francisco. Ironically, that was also directed by Lo Wei. But truth be told, there's actually a lot to enjoy in Fearless Hyena 2. From the broad comedy elements to the fantastic kung fu action on offer, whether it's with the real Jackie Chan or not, it clearly saves it from becoming a complete write-off for kung fu movie fans.